moments ago, Liz Truss was announced as the new leader of the Conservative Party. Brenda, how are you feeling about this news? I'm feeling good that she's been uh, voted in. Obviously, we didn't have much of a say into who was being voted, but out of the two candidates, Liz was my preference. Um, and I think that comes from when I saw them doing the, one of their ITV d uh, debates. Mm. And Liz was, you know, I know that a lot of, a lot of people say, I'm going to deliver, I'm going to deliver, I'm going to deliver. But for some reason... When she kept saying it, I kept listening to it and I kept believing it. And I, you know, I'm looking at her being from a working class background with a finger on the pulse, which I don't think a lot of the people running it have had to date. Um, there's going to be a lot that everybody's got to contend with and she's going to have a job on her hands. Yeah. But I'm glad there's a woman in there and I'm glad, you know, I hope that she does deliver what she's promised. Just one thing would be great. Just well, one. So you've Just slightly fallen in love with Liz. I didn't say fallen in love. That's very strong. Yeah, but <laughs> um, you've fallen but for her. I, I, well, I, I'm believing in... I'm somebody who never used to vote, All right. remember? Let me so say I'm one trying thing. to believe in somebody. OK. Well, I find that very touching. <laughs> Liz has got a whole brand tub of policies. She's promised everything but the kitchen sink in order to win that election. And now in her acceptance speech, she's still saying she's going to deliver this, she's going to de deliver that, she's going to deliver the other. She's going to deliver her tax cuts. And obviously she's told us that the Tory party is the greatest party ever mm. in the history of political parties. But staring her in the face is the winter of discontent because unless people can heat their homes, buy cucumbers, which are now a pound, a, a <laughs> cucumber, and actually, you know, buy winter-type food as opposed to summer salads, uh, we will be very miserable indeed. And I think I'm going to ask you in a year's time if you still support Liz Truss, because my feeling is that the wheels are going to come off to Sharabang pretty quickly. Oh, ye of little faith. I'm not just being <laughs> cynical old Janet, which is in my role on this show. I'm just saying she can't deliver it all. She can't deliver £30 billion of tax cuts, reverse the national insurance rise, which was supposed to pay for the NHS. The NHS is, by all accounts, facing the worst crisis in the last few years. Um, she's going to have an emergency budget. But I think a lot of the things that she's proposing benefit people who are already in work. And the more tax you earn, the more you're going to be thrilled. Sorry, the more you earn, the more tax you pay, so the more you're going to be thrilled with a tax cut. The but same one, but one if I may interject, one might say who would want a job as Prime Minister at this particular time, because you rightly say she is going to inherit so many problems oh, that yes. she has promised to deliver, deliver, deliver.